Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about adding click event to menu items in Java. So, in our previous tutorial, we have created JMenu, but in this tutorial, we will create it from scratch or from start. So, I'll right click on this create new Java file and I will name this uh, JMenu click event and I'll click finish to create the file so first I will create uh, globally declare my J frame uh, frame and then I will declare uh, J menu bar menu bar then j menu menu and then j menu item and uh, I'll declare i1 comma i2 comma i3 comma i4 we will only create only four because we have already learned about uh, j menu and creating multiple menus and multiple menu items so i'll import all of these uh, uh, java swing controls so i will also create container so container container semicolon and uh, also a j text area text area semicolon I will import these two as well so import and uh, import the JTX area as well and now we will create the constructor of this uh, class jmenu public jmenu click uh, control space and now I'll put uh, parenthesis and then curly braces so now we have created the uh, constructor so I will use frame equals new j frame and now I'll put semicolon here and uh, now frame dot set default control space and uh, j frame dot exit on close now i'll uh, create a bounce so frame dot set bounce uh, control space and now here i will pass in zero zero five hundred cross five hundred now I'll uh, add in uh, uh, I'll show this frame frame dot sit uh, visible true and here I'll uh, get the content of this uh, frame so uh, container is equal to frame dot git content pane semicolon so now we have the content of this uh, frame in this container so now we will add in uh, mj menu bar so menu bar equals new j menu bar and all put semicolon now we will add in uh, j menu so menu equals new, new j menu and now i'll uh, use this as uh, file file menu put semicolon now first we will add some items to this and then we will add this uh, uh, 
menu into this menu bar so uh, I'll use uh, I1 equals uh, new J menu item and now I'll pass in here uh, open semicolon and now our new I'll make this new new and now I'll copy this control C this and now I'll control V this and control V this and control V this again so I'll make this uh, two and this one uh, three and this one four and I'll make this uh, um, copy paste and uh, I'll make this cut and I will remove this last one cut copy paste and now I'll use menu dot add and I'll pass in I1 and now I'll put semicolon here and I'll copy this control C this and now I'll control V it here and control V and control V now I'll make this uh, 2 and uh, this uh, 3 and I'll remove this because we have already removed the fourth one so now we have uh, added the menu items into our menu now we will add this menu into our menu bar so menu bar dot uh, this B is capital so bar dot add and here I will pass in menu and now we we'll put semicolon here and now we will add this menu bar into our uh, J frame or container so I'll use frame dot set menu bar and I will use menu bar and now if I run this code right now it will do nothing so we have to create the object of the class here we have to call this class here so it is showing a error so it is J menu bar so I'll use here uh, my class name is uh, J menu click event so I'll use J menu click control space event uh, uh, click equals new j menu control space click event and now I'll put this and semicolon now if I run this file right now run file now our code is running and we if I click on this file we have this co uh, copy paste and cut here now I need a fourth item here uh, I'll uh, add in here I equals new J menu item and I'll uh, make this new and uh, this I is not available here so I'll make some space here I comma and now uh, I'll put semicolon it is showing an error because we haven't put semicolon here now I'll add in this I into menu so menu dot add and uh, I and put semicolon now we have uh, this and now if I run this run file now it is running again and now if I click on this 
so now we will add the click event to this so now if we click on this new so a new text area will be created here so for that first we have to implement the action action listener so i'll minimize this i'll come here and i will use uh, implements action listener control space and uh, now it will ask me to implement all abstract methods so i'll implement it now you will see here down here this this action perform method is created so it will not work we have to add it into our uh, menu items so i'll add it here uh, i dot add uh, action listener this and similarly i will copy this control c this and now i'll control v it here control v here and control v here now i'll make this uh, i1 i2 and i3 now we have added our action listener to these items so now if we click on this um, method so this will be called now i'll uh, show a message uh, j option pen here for now so j option uh, pen space dot show message dialog and uh, i'll pass in frame here and uh, here i'll pass in this is message and now if i run this file run file the file is running and now if i click on this file and click on this new now you can see this is a message so for every uh, item this message will be uh, printed now we have to code some uh, and uh, create a message text uh, a jtx area with this new and then we will use this copy paste and cut also so i'll close this so now we will add jtx area into our uh, j frame so for that i will come here to top and uh, i'll use uh, container dot set uh, layout control space and i will pass in null here now we'll use a uh, text area uh, uh, equals new j text area and now i'll put semicolon here now text uh, area dot set bounds bounds and uh, here i will pass in 10 and uh, 10 from the top and uh, comma um, 4 90 comma 4 or 480 480 i'll make this 480 as well so 480 now i'll put semicolon here and i will add it into the container so container dot add and uh, i'll add text area and i'll put semicolon now let's run the file and check this so run file so now text area is added into our uh, j frame but uh, i'll close this and i will fix it a bit so uh, i'll give it zero from the top and uh, i'll make this uh, width four 
70 and now if I run this uh, run file so now actually it was not the top it was this uh, from the left so I'll give it 10 and I'll make this 0 and now if I run it again run file now it looks good now we will add some text into it so for that I will close it down and uh, I'll come here and I will use uh, uh, text area dot or when we create click on the new uh, uh, menu item then we will add some text into it so I'll come down here and now we will use a uh, get each menu item so for that I'll use if org 0 or I'll make this e e and I'll make this e dot get source equals equals uh, i then do what then uh, text area dot set uh, text uh, and here I will use new file dot 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 and then f uh, e dot uh, get source equals i one then do what and I'll copy this and paste this two time control C and control V and control V now I'll make this uh, I2 and this I3 now uh, I'll put an ending curly brace here now we are good to go so now I1 is uh, what is I1? I1 is copy so we'll use here uh, text area dot copy this one we will use this and for this this is cut so paste this is paste so text uh, area dot uh, paste yeah this one and this is cut i3 is cut so text area dot cut semicolon so now if I run this file so now the file is running so if I click on this file and new so now you can see new file here if I remove this and write some text here this is a test uh, item menu item click event and now if I select this all this and now if I go here and copy this and now if I make some space here and now if I click on this paste it will paste it here if I click enter and paste it again so it will paste it again now if I select this last line on this side and now if I cut this it will cut this line and now if I paste it again it will paste it again so this was click event uh, and menus are it was the click event on J menu item so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you